right, a bit of a different video today. Well, we're starting in a different way. I'm here in the editing setup. It's not usually this clean. Let's get this open. It's amazing. Have a look at this, a Kronos 1.4. It's not um, one of the souped up Kronoses. Hi, today's video is a bit different. What I have here is a Kronos 2.1 HD camera but it is definitely affordable, just. <laughs> so brand new, these are about whoa, four to five grand USD. I got this uh, second hand for, for about half the price. It's not a steal of the century, but it's definitely a lot cheaper than um, buying it brand new. When I say second hand, it, you know, like it still has got the screen protector on. It looks like it was, it was barely used. It looks like a thing that the company bought for a very specialized application, used it a couple of times um, and then put it back on the shelf. And um, there's a couple of indicators of that. But the first one obviously being <laughs> the screen protector still being on. It's peeling off now, but that's mostly from me. So yes, it came in this box and that was all that there is. I I've now got an SD card in there, but there was there was no charger. Um, I didn't realize there was no charger. It said it in the eBay listing, or it just said nothing else included, but um, I was a bit stupid, and I didn't realize that meant there was no charger. There was a stressful little while there where um, it had about 15% battery. <laughs> By the time it got here, it took a very long time to ship, but um, it is, you know, the current year, so, so that's fine. I wanted to make sure it worked <laughs> as soon as it got here, so I was trying out some stuff when it had very low battery just to, just to make sure it worked. So at least I could turn it on and check that it all worked. But um, it's all good, I've got a battery charger now. Ideally this um, has a power charger, power cord input here. So it doesn't actually need a battery. So it's got an internal battery, but with the power cord, you can run it without the battery in there, but it also charges the battery um, you know, at the same time. I couldn't find a cord for it. It's kind of a generic cord, but I didn't want to risk getting the wrong type of cord and, and, and blowing up the camera. So I got just got an external battery charger. So this is just like a, a Nikon battery. Pretty expensive to get <laughs> replacements actually. So I've seen, well like legit replacements, but apparently the off-brand ones are pretty uh, bad and dangerous. So that charges externally. Now charge the battery so we can now turn it on. <laughs> um, charger took a bit of time to get here as well. And I was not sure if it was even going to be the right charger for it, but it all works out fine. Right, when I turn it on, you'll, you'll notice a thing, first of all, the sound it makes. <laughs> it's got a really hefty fan in there. It's really easy to think of this as a bit of a computer camera hybrid. It's not all computer, it's not all camera. It's got a little bit of both in it. And it takes quite a while to start up, but that's all right. It, it has to do a lot. It's all very interesting, and I would love to show you some footage to, that I've taken with it but I can't at the moment, that's because of the lens. I, once again, didn't read the eBay listing, even though there was like one sentence on the eBay listing, I didn't really read it properly. <laughs> um, and so this lens here is actually the microscope lens. It's a pretty expensive lens. Well, it's sort of the expensive lens to buy with it. So it's a bit of a bargain, but it's not uh, terribly useful. Well, it'll be useful in some situations. It'll be very cool in some situations, but, um, I have ordered another lens that will turn up eventually and then I'll actually be able to show, take some normal footage with it because at the moment um, the microscope lens is uh, it's pretty hard to film with. You'll notice that there's a lack of focal ring here so it's got a fixed focal distance and you, and you focus by ideally you mount it in front of like a microscope objective so you, you move things into its focal range. All right, it came with this mount. I really thought it would fit into this tripod. This is a new tripod. This this isn't a flex video. This is just me uh, complaining about all the extra purchases I've had to make. I kind of budgeted for a cost. Uh, it was completely wrong about it <laughs> um, with the camera. And then there were all these other things I had to buy for it as well. <laughs> so sorry if I keep complaining about having to buy new things for it. But uh, it'll all be worth it in the long run. Oh, okay. Maybe it does fit just uh, the wrong way. Oh, oh well. Sure, that's that's fine. All right, I'm going to turn this microscope onto my screen. Well, YouTube is up and the editing program and my lovely view of the fence and a bin because the screen's really bright. Uh, the problem with the microscope lens, because it zooms in so much, uh, you need a whole lot of lights. You need a bright light source to look at it or, or a very bright light shining on something, you know, which which makes sense for the microscope because you've just got a big bright light shining on the thing you want to image. Just be imaging some pixels on my screen just to show you this uh, magnification. This happened to be the web page is open and I'm not salty at all is the, is the demonetization logo here next to my newest main channel video. There, that, that's the camera in focus there. I have to kind of wobble the camera around. So that is at 0.7 <laughs> on, uh, on the lens. If we go to 1, we can start to see 
some pixels there. This is three and a half. Uh, it's pretty dark, but 1M is taking up the whole screen. Uh, and then we can go into 4.5, which is probably going to be too dark to see anything. But, oh yeah, there we go. So you can then see the individual pixels there. So the lens is um, going to be very interesting at some point, because we're going to be able to see, you know, individual crystals <laughs> um, pretty easily. And seeing individual crystals in slow motion, seeing them explode. So the focus is just because I'm wobbling this around to get the focus. It would otherwise be, would be steady. Yeah, very specialized lens. Not um, super easy to work with. So this whole back here is a touch screen. Um, and one thing I've noticed is, um, where are we? In the about section. You can see 0 0.3.0. So that's the, that's the software. And that's pretty out of date. Um, that's it's quite out of date actually, which 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 further reinforces my theory that um, you know this was a, a device that was used a couple of times and then put away in storage and not brought out again. So um, I've got to work out how to update the software. So if I brick it <laughs> during the software update, at least I've got some footage, so uh, I can make a video and complain about it later. So I updated the software to 1.4. I, I did want to update it to 1.5, but it has some updates to how it processes battery charging. So you need to have it on an external power source that isn't a battery during the power update because it can't update itself while updating how it gets power from the battery. For that, I needed an external power cable, which I have now. I wasn't going to get one. I have since lost the battery, <laughs> which <laughs> is really pissing me off because I can't find it and um, that frustrates me to no end. Anyway, the point is that now it can actually run um, just from this cord. Why do I separate the battery from the camera? That's such a stupid thing to do. I don't know why. Why would I do that? All right, I've been really frustrated with this. So this lens, right, this lens screws into there and it says CS mount. And so I bought this lens, the lens that they like recommend that basically everyone with this camera uses, this like computer lens and it's C mount, right? Finally got here and look at this, look at this connection. Like it doesn't screw in at all. It's nowhere near the right size. And I was like, oh, okay, well it must be because this is a C mount, this is a CS mount, I must need the adapter. So I bought the adapter. It took like two or three weeks for this to turn up. And this screws onto there. But then this, it's just the same thread size as that. And that doesn't even fit at all in there. So C mounts and CS mounts, they're both the same diameter. So this is definitely a C mount, right? And it's got this width. So the CS mount, as this is labeled here, should have the same width as this, right? It needs an adapter only because the focal length is different. So this is kind of just like a spacer, right? It doesn't actually change the thread size at all. It just it just increases the, the spacing distance. So it doesn't screw into there at all. But like, it's almost as if this is a CS mount lens and they've done something here with this silver bit. It needs this silver bit to screw into there. And this, I can't get this off. This is like glued onto there. I can't get that off. And I've waited so long for all this to turn up and it does and it, none of it fits together and I still can't use this at all with the lens. All right, I'm out here in the sun. I'm filming this with the microscope lens, which is currently still the only lens I can get to work and um, I can't find the battery still, but um, I got that laptop charger, so. At least it's running. It's getting pretty hot in the sun and it's pretty hard to see that screen, um, which is on. Uh, cannot see that all in the camera. Oh, yeah, you can see some of the buttons there. The sunlight is pretty good for filming, actually. Well, I mean, it's needed. need all that light. It's looking pretty good. I've got to say, well, actually, I haven't really looked at the footage because it's hard to look at the footage on this, but just trying to get a few different shots. Hopefully some of them turn out all right and um, I actually get some proper footage out of this thing. Well, wow, wouldn't that be nice? Amazingly, I've actually done it. I was complaining about it on Twitter again. I've complained about it on Twitter multiple times. It's been like two months of me trying and I thought, stuff it. I'm just going to see if this is an adapter and put way too much force into it. Because I was like, stuff it. If I break it, whatever, I just have to try. And it did come loose. So this fits into there with my other lens with like the C-mount or whatever can now screw into that, that part there. I think it's the, it's the, the, um, the back focus ring. There's usually a screw in here which um, has potentially fallen out. So that's why this is so loose. This shouldn't really be like coming out. So put that back in there. And then now this looks like 
the normal camera from the manual. <laughs> it's got a normal mount and I can put this zoom lens on and um, get some normal <laughs> shots that aren't two millimeters across. So finally filming with the zoom lens and I gotta say it's an absolute delight. Have a look at that. That's <laughs> safer distance between the camera and um, the thing I'm trying to film which is giving off perchloric acid fumes so it's nice that the camera can be um, quite far away but um, it's again some really nice shots I mean there are a lot of effort to, to focus it and get the lighting right and do it all but um, I think they're they're definitely worth it I'm not putting this out in the sun as often because it gets quite hot but um, here in the shade and filming in the sunlight it's it's perfect I'm really, I'm really happy with this.